Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Great War Redux mod. I'm your host, Bulgarian Mokulover, right now. In which we are... Well, this isn't exactly where we left off yesterday, but it's fairly close. It's May 3rd, 1916. I was able to split the Romanian army and get all the way right south of Brasov. Which is pretty good. As you can tell, the Serbians are having a good old time with the Austro-Hungarians, and, well, this front is doing okay-ish for the Central Powers. Somewhat. Germany has... Actually broken through Vosges a little bit, and they're still stuck over here. Not too many other things have happened, but Romania is about to capitulate, which I'll show in just a little bit. We're still not joining the Central Powers, but we're going to continue with mm, airfields. Another good description, of course. Another good description. Also, here are the casualties. Uh, yeah, like I said, Romania is about to die, and the Greeks have already taken over 400,000 casualties. So at this point, I've already encircled these three divisions here, and they're about to die, which is a very good thing. And someone's overran, and at this point, because they're so weak, I, I decided to go ahead. They, they got a few man, a little bit of manpower, but they're completely out of guns. Uh, never mind, they've got 300 guns left, but no, they're out of guns. No, they're out of guns. Yeah. AI? I gotta love the Hoi 4 AI, right? Just gotta love it. Oh, and you guys are done, but not really. We need Krayova, and they actually might capitulate, which would be pretty good. Now, they're starving for supplies right now, so I'm gonna think we're just gonna help them out and put them down so much say cool hope you guys are having a good day we got a couple comments to go through as well Whew. this war has been a uh, not gonna say brutal it hasn't been honestly that bad but it's been a little crazy we'll say actually I'm gonna put you guys with the Greeks on the Greek front so actually they've got a really good division there but is it really enough especially if we cut these guys off here now we don't have a navy we can't like get in there or you know cut them off by sea but still uh, I'm going to have you guys just do whatever you want. At this point, it doesn't really matter. These guys will deal with once these guys are dealt with, so... We'll see what happens. But Thessalonica... Okay, is having a good time. And I'm kind of surprised. Actually, the Romanians capitulated before the Greeks, since the Greeks did lose, lose most of their army. I'm going to take the coast, thank you. And I'm just going to pop with them. I don't want to deal with uh, resistance up there. Nice. Led by Ferdinand I, or really should say, the sub-Ferdinand, under Daddy... Foxy Ferdinand. Oh, yeah. Actually, what do we have here? Great. Oh, great exports. That's not bad. Cool. Nice. Good job, guys. Now let's come down to Greece. And this way, they, they won't join the Entente. Or whatever they're called. What are they called? I guess, yeah, technically, yeah, they are the Entente. Um, of course, if we help... Oh, Bul oh, it's actually called Bulgarian Romania. That's actually really awesome. All right, so you guys are going to help break the siege down here in Thessalonica. Even though, I think at this point, though, they pretty much have it already, so... Alright, guys, head on over. I think these guys, they're defending in mountains, that's not very good. But their strength is so minuscule, 11% strength. It's so small, so small. Of course, last time we did lose quite a few guys, enemies and such, but whatever. Yeah, if we open up a front against the Entente, it's not going to be very good for us, but I think we'll do relatively okay. Just go ahead on in, guys. You as well, just move on in, march, 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 go, go, go. You guys do the exact same thing, everyone on the line, because at this point, the Greeks are pretty much all going to die. And we'll pop them as well once we take our territory. They have up to nine divisions max, so as long as we keep up the pressure, we'll be more than fine. And since you guys have field hospitals, we're going to force the attack. A little crazy, I know, but we got 400 army XP, we got 200 motorized. Ooh, and actually now we need to go ahead and choose... Isn't there a focus here that gives us, like, cores under the Brugia? Or maybe we can't do that one. Oh, it was right here. Oh, so we have to join the Central Powers first. Oh, uh, darn it. That means we have to put down resistance first. That really sucks. Whatever. The fall of Warsaw. A terrible defeat for uh, the Poles. Oh, Romania. Yeah, still might have to do. Now, we're trying to put up some civilian factories here. We'll lower their autonomy later on. Yeah, I think the Greeks are done at this point. Oh, actually, they still got a good army right there. But once we take all this area and we keep spreading out like the way we are... Honestly, no matter what they try to do, I don't think they'll be able to do anything, really. It's just a little too late for them. They stopped attacking, now they're defending, but... I could be wrong. I could be very, very wrong. But I don't think I am. They don't have any more infantry equipment. They still have a little bit of manpower. We're going to lose quite a few guys attacking into the mountains, but they've lost so many guys. I mean, I just... Okay, never mind. They're going to lose. They're definitely going to lose. The road to Athens is completely open. Go to Argos, Patras, Corinth, Kalamata... Oh, they did throw some guys down there, so you never know. A green meal. Go, guys, go, go, go. 
Get to Corfu? I don't know, that's another little island from EU4. Or maybe just a normal island. Yeah, that's probably just a normal island. Cool. You guys got this. You guys got this. Uh, we could force the attack. I mean, we're already missing guys and such. Ooh, that's quite a bit of political power. Oh, uh, 65% stability. Military parade in the Kingdom of Romania. Daily support for unaligned. Uh, that doesn't really look appealing. We already got all this stuff done, too. Do we get any more resources that way? Not really, not too much. Minus 5 steel. We could use, still use more steel, which is unfortunate. Once we get Athens, though, is that it? That might be it. Alright. Up to 7 divisions max. Keep one guy here. Hey! 3 divisions in a circle. Don't mind if we do. Athens is ours. Beautiful. Construction 3. It is 1916, of course. Get some line forts. Now let's get some more max factories in the state. That'll be good. How much more do we need to kill these guys off? Come on down here, guys. Come on. Good. Take all four divisions and kill them off here. Don't give them any rest. They don't need it where they're going. Good. Oh, there's still an island over here too, huh? Actually, for you guys, I'm just going to throw you guys over here then. I mean, they should be given up very soon. We should not need to get Corinth. Yeah, they'll, they'll be done very, very, very soon. Okay, there we go. Nice, thank you for playing. Now we have a claim over here. We have a claim over here. Nice. Do we have claims on this? No, I don't think we have claims on anything else. Ottoman Empire does, but... Very good. Now that's a nice Tsardom. But now we must deal with those in the Entente. It is time for us to join the Central Powers, though. So, against the Russians, they're not looking good. The Austrians are looking a little better than before, so you you guys are doing pretty darn well. I'm going to put you guys over here. Do we have another field... Uh, Vasil? A field marshal? Yes. Very good. Very good. These guys are 20 combat width. Not bad. You guys are 14 combat width, which is not great, but okay. Let's do that one just in case. Cancel one lease, so be it. And actually, I'm going to keep you guys actually some, under someone else. Because you're going to be more of the special forces. Okay, never mind. You are not. Just fill out the army there. There you go. And you, someone's going to get a promotion. You, Nikola Zekov. Expert Delegator would not be bad. Don't really need that logistics, absolutely. And we've got one more max planning. Let's go to the offensive because we need as much attack as possible. Because he's got cavalry and he's got to do what he's got to do. We're going to beat the snot out of this. the bad word Serbs. <laughs> well, Burgess Airfields, very good. Disperse Industry, it's time to join the war. Okay, not bad. Awesome. Two research slots available. Fueled fortifications because we can, as well as some more cap. Awesome. And that was actually a really smart move for us to do this. Now, I'm not going to make divisions using their... Oh, actually, I could make divisions using their manpower. That is not a bad idea, Mr. Mocha Lover. Alright, what do you got? Death of Herbert Kitchener. Oh. His body's never recovered. That sucks. Sucks to be you. That's how we refer to enemy... Com or future enemy combatants. <laughs> oh, man. Get hospitals. Yeah, that's fine. Artillery. Recon. That's good. Make them. And the Greeks. Oh, the Greeks. Eh, view. That's 10 combat width. That has actually... This is actually cheaper to run just because it actually has already engineers and that costs, that saves us some army XP, which honestly doesn't really matter, but whatever. Nice. This makes it look a little nicer with the infantry in the... Oh, the artillery in the middle. So cool. Very good. I think we're doing okay now. Now we're completely out of guns and we're joining the Central Powers. We'll see what happens. That this this will put a massive problem for Serbia. As well as the Russians. I mean they gotta have, have more divisions guarding their front. At least for the Russians, not bad for us. And we're done with the land doctrine. Great. I need to make some more factories. But 1916. 243 days. Holy crap. No, we're good. Are you the tank prototypes? Yes, please. Infantry divisions. Thank you. Cavalry. Ooh, what are you doing down? Oh, actually, that's not bad. I can take up all this territory around here. Do we have this as a claim or as a core? I think this is a claim. 
Austria still seems to be holding. Germany is doing well. They're actually pushing into France a little bit more. They have Nancy. Oh, they even took the other Belgian tile right here, too. Valoni. And the Austrians haven't really been giving up lately, so that's good for them, I guess. Don't have time to train. Actually, we can still go to war. Oh, we can go to war with Serbia right now. As well as the Ottoman states. So we'll see what happens. You know, the Ottomans are in the Central Powers, and they're getting attacked on one, two, three fronts. But with us in the war, they should definitely help them out. Wow, that's a lot of Entente. India, Afghanistan, Persia, Second Persia, or... What the heck happened here? Why does UK own this? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, and China fell apart. What a shame. Yan, no. Anyone here have a unique focus tree? Sichuan, artillery effort, no. Doesn't look like it. What happened to the regular China? Zhen Zilang? Feng Tian Clique? Are you guys China? Zhang Zulin? I remember you from Kaiserreich China, but I don't, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. This looks like a giant mess. Holy crap. God dang, look at how many. How, oh, shnikes. World tension isn't even at 100% yet. The Great War, 1.3 million, 1.19. Uh, that's actually not too bad so far for the Central Powers, really. If you look at it, it's not too bad. Now, once America joins, that's going to be a big old problem. Oh, Japan also joined. Oh. They've only lost 1,000. Then again, they have up to 34 divisions max, so... Not really too concerned about that so far, but... I'm coming for the Serbs. I'm going to make them our and Austria's lapdog. It's unfortunate. They chose their the way they wanted to go, and we shall choose ours. Central Macedonia, that is ours. Let's go build some factories in there. I'd love to be able to core this, but unfortunately we cannot right now. Maybe later on we can through the focus because we get claim to Brugia. Claim Macedonia. Yeah, we do. We get cores on all that stuff. Claim Adrianopol. Yes. And claim Nice. Nice. Is that over here? No, it's Constantinople. Did we take it already? Central Thrace. Rhodops, Rhodopus, whatever it is, Macedonia, Malasevo, oh, Nice, is, oh, it's all the way here, oh, yeah, so we'll basically take all of this, this portion will be given to Serbia, but this portion is going to be all Bulgarian cores, I can't wait, mm, political power gain, that's okay, democratic reformer, civilian and military factories, more political power, master impact is considered a major, huh, that's interesting, that guy's new, we didn't have that guy last time, Anything else around here? Do we get any more resources? Not really. We still have to import so much. It's quite unfortunate. Not gonna lie. We need so many factories. So many things. Actually, that lowered the amount of steel that we needed to, which is not bad. We currently get 1.8 political power every day. We got less than two weeks to get involved with the war. And crush the Serbs. And once the Serbs are gone... Oh, Lusitania. Oh, that's not good. Then we can help... the defend against the Italians and the French and the Belgians, especially against the Russians. Oh, man, Germany's doing a good job against the Russians now. What the heck? I kind of like the Russians, though. One to two million manpower. Austria. Oh, they have a little bit of manpower left. Million men. Dread Dreadnought effort. Oh, I'm not sure why you're doing dreadnoughts for now, but okay. Whatever. <sighs> Serbia. Why am I waiting to go to war? That's a good question to ask. Mostly because I want to get more resources first. Let's go and extract some stuff because we can. The longer we wait, the more stuff we can build up and get us out of our deficit. So, whatever. And... Join the Central Powers. Thank you. Followed up by Claim the Brugia. No more... No cores. Yes. Now, this is actually going to be, going to be good. Uh, does Romania have any divisions? No, but... We're going to we're going to get naval invaded. Let's be real. We are definitely going to get naval invaded, which is going to suck. So now we can almost reach Austria-Hungary, but what? Oh, they've desertion. Oh, look at that! Wow, I've never seen that. So you guys, well, actually, wait, we can't go to war. What the heck? Why can't we go to war with them? It says you guys can win. I don't trust that, I'll be honest. So, like, head on up there. Alright, let's see what happens. Italy will invade us. Um, improve working conditions, you might as well try. 
Women in the workforce, we will do that one now. We'll lose stability, that's alright. We can want integration, that's good. Welcomes us to the central powers, good. Yes, please. Nice, move in. This is looking like a mess. Then again, it's warfare, what do you expect? Alright, they're banning the line. Alright, time to move in then. If they choose to not do anything, we will, shall come in. Yes. Actually, I should not have called in Greece. That's actually probably a really bad idea, but whatever. Go in, boys, if you can. Well, the Serbs should have given us what we deserved in the war. It is all their fault. The Serbs got greedy. Keep these guys in place. These guys are dying. Love it. Help them out. The Serbs will probably fall pretty quickly. If we're attacking from the south and the Austrians are doing well in the north-ish, we'll probably do okay. Oh, you help out. You don't even need to be there. Just Actually, yeah, you kind of do. Oh, that's not good. Whatever. Yes, please. Um, ooh. Oh, yeah, now we have access. Because I took out Romania, we actually do have access. Now we can get the rail all the way done, and they can help each other out if they really need to. A lot of green. We got some Serbs encircled. I'm sorry, Serbia. I'll be nice to you again someday, but that's not for this campaign. Good. Now it's going to be a kind of a drain on our own manpower, but whatever. They have a lot of manpower. How many guns? I got no guns. They got nothing except a few scout planes. Weekly manpower goes down until Oct eh, for a few more weeks. Like two more weeks or so. That's not bad. austro Hungarians have shown up. Not bad. Hop out. Push in. Push in. Hopefully we're doing okay. Well, they got a lot of uh, things going on. What's going on? Actually, we, at least we can see over here. Germany's trying to really kill off the zone manpower, but even France is not doing that well either. Industrial complex stuff? Nice. Range finder, plane stuff. Let's get some fighters if we can, maybe. Alright, so you guys stop doing that then. You don't need to attack. Oh, uh, actually, I don't know. I mean, they're looking pretty darn weak. You know, we're looking pretty darn weak as well. Alright, so let's go down on how many divisions we're actually making. So, boom, boom, boom. There you go, that's a little better. You guys can actually help out right there for now. That's fine. You guys, help out right here. You guys get a little more strength for now. We've almost beat these guys out of the Pristina Mountains, whatever they're called. And Austria is actually doing a little better now. Nice. Kill those divisions off. Extend the Russian line a little bit more. The Germans seem to be maybe winning? Maybe? I don't think anyone's got extra guns to spare, though. Leave faction? I mean, we'll probably have to leave faction eventually. Just because it's on historical and I don't want to lose to the uh, allies. So, I should win there. Well, we'll see. Doesn't look like you guys can win right here, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Machine tools, very nice. At this point, I know what we're going to do. We're going to have to raise our cons uh, not conscription level. But I'm going to have to raise the cavalry divisions. Mountaineers are not really using early heavy tanks. Not bad. Got to wait a while to get those done. Anything else here? Not really, no. Anti-air, anti-tank, mortars. Hmm. We can research it. It doesn't really hurt us to research it. So, why not? Why not? Um... Until you guys a hold. Yeah, stop wasting lives right now over there. That'd be good. You guys can kill these guys off. Come on. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on, guys. You've almost beaten them up here, which is good. I'm actually getting attacked over here, too. Serbs are completely out. Yep, no more mutinies, I guess. Seriously, man, you can't even break through here. That well, could be worse. Beat these guys up here first. And they'll beat these guys up here as well. We're really out of equipment. This is really not good war for us. 
Then again, I don't think it's good for anybody. Maybe except for wealthy people who can uh, give loans out to, for the war effort. Wow, Russia's really not looking good. Wow. Come on, guys. Can't you just kill the, the few Italian guys that are in your lands? I mean, I like the green that Germany's got. They're looking good. They're looking good. They're pushing in a little bit. Unlike us, we're, we're struggling to push in, which really sucks, but that's just me. Maybe. Alright, if so you guys can't win down here, that's kind of pathetic, not gonna lie. Who's still attacking? Is it? It's not us. It can't be us, right? Nope, it's Austro Hungarians. What I kind of thought. Alright, so for now, we're gonna stop making as many divisions. I just gotta focus more on guns and such like that. Actually, early heavy tanks, not a bad idea, but. Woo! Bulgaria is definitely not a great power. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that or not. But uh, Bulgaria does not have a lot of strength attached to itself. We can try as best we can. We might be relatively okay, but. Mm. Pushing back over the river, that'll be helpful. Nice. My goal. Oh, David Lloyd George becomes Prime Minister, the last liberal PM, I guess. No idea what who he was, but okay. War bonds. Go and do that. And then we'll do some war propaganda, because we need as much production now as possible. No, not friends. Joseph F. Wow, really? And yeah, they got some divisions too, not bad. Right here might be really good to attack. Actually, right here would probably be best. Let's see, so right there. We're gonna give it some time. We're gonna get more guns. We're gonna do stuff like that. Okay, I was wondering when that was going to complete. we got a little more manpower, maybe another factory or two. That's really, really good. Claim Adrianopol. Um, okay, cool. Claim Macedonia. Good, 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 good. Get those cores done. That's what means we need less guns. And that's a good thing. That's a very, very good thing. We got another civilian factory. We actually got a few more military factories, too, which is awesome. Now, can we import any more steel convoys for German Empire? Actually, I'll do that, yes. Came in Spain, sorry, but no. Not bad. 21 guns a day? Obviously not ideal, but we'll work with it. What are we making that we're not doing? Ah, uh, heavy tanks. Early, 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 early heavy tanks. Oof. So just give our guys some time. We'll be okay. You're making those factories, actually. 100% would be better to work, but you're so close to finishing, so you might as well do Mas Central Macedonia first. I would like to push them over the river, but we just don't have enough fact guns. Um, this is looking better, don't get me wrong. Infantry is looking definitely better. But time is so incredibly sluggish right now. Wow. Ottoman... I thought we were already war with Afghanistan, but okay. Whatever. How are we doing over here? Not great. Oh, and... Ah, there he is, Carl the First. I mean, Germany's doing relatively okay. A million manpower, stockpile, really unsure. We're getting more fuel, which is good. Do we do we dare try to attack here? Can you get over here? No, you can't. Can you actually win here? I kind of doubt that they can. We can try it. Oh, they threw in more divisions. Uh, if it goes, uh, let's see. I mean, I didn't tell these guys a force attack, and they're looking really bad. But that's just because I upgraded. I tried to upgrade them before we even started the battle. So it's slowly going up. They'll pull out once they don't have enough organization, of course. But it's not looking terrible. It's mostly oh crap. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Uh, I'm going to select half you guys. I'm going to pull, actually, another half out. Nope. Oh, crap. They've... You guys don't have a port? Are you kidding me? God dang it. Should have never called the Greeks into the war. What a, what a mistake that was. Greece, please. <sighs> this is so dumb. Oh yeah, we're with Portugal. Portugal. Hello, Germany. What are you doing? 
Because they are fighting down here too, but still. Uh, Romania, sure. Why not? 87? And we're looking better. We're absolutely looking better. They're definitely entrenched, though. We have, any, we have no planes. Alright. Okay, we got it, guys. We stopped the attacks for now. They lose Athens. We're kind of screwed, but whatever. Come on, guys. I don't want to force the attack, but we'll see what happens. There's the garrisons. I do say I want to make these guys 40 combat width. So they're going to look really, really bad. But that's alright. I could throw in some motorized artillery, but we have even way fewer gun uh, artillery pieces than guns, so. There you go. Oh, crap. That's not good. No, they're not looking good, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. Ah! Oh, the first divisions are made. Straight from the... From those guys over there. Romanians. Vladimir Vazov. Nothing? Cool. Come on, we're 91. We're so close. Come on, make, keep making more factories. Keep making more stuff. Oh, we're almost ready to core more stuff, which is awesome. Head, oh, yeah, we're definitely getting attacked down here now. That's good. Drain them of the resources. Wasn't it like in the original Great War mod, like, wasn't it like lumber and grains or rations like a, a source of like resource or something? If I remember correctly, it was something like that. It's kind of interesting. And you had a, like a cooldown for. Or not a cooldown, but it was a pressure cooker basically, where you had this score continually ticking up until the end of the war and it gets too high, like you help a revolt in your country, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Excavation 2. Mods keep doing excavation stuff. Happy 1917, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. We got a little bit more chromium. That's kind of nice. Come on. We're so close. Claim. Ah, oh, good. Good. Claim Nice. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's a claim. It's not a core, but whatever. So we got this as a core. Nice. A few more factories, perhaps. A little more chromium, of all things. Uh, Macedonia is actually our own core, too. Even more. A lot of chromium around here. The one resource that we don't really need right now. Of course. Force the attack. We've almost broken through them. Almost. Oh crap, that was a really bad idea. They're going to really die here. Whatever. They're meant to die then. 97. You're so close. This is scarily weak. Oof. Well, since you're down here, you might as well help defend the border then. Hopefully, like, you guys, half you guys go back up north. There you go. Mortars. Cool. 1917, yeah. More defense, breakthrough, stuff like that. That's good. Come on. Before the cavalry division dies. Oh, we got only a few hours left. That's fine. Now we're getting it navally invaded again. Oh, they're trying to attack. It's one thing. 98. Come on. Can we get to 99? 99? Yes. Yes. And. And. Come on. Come on. Force it one more time. You can force it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Break through. For the love of God, just break through. Oh, we did it. Okay, who? And all we wanted was three divisions for that. We only actually only lost 10,000. That's not bad so far. Serbia's lost uh, not enough guys. That's not. That's nowhere close to where it needs to be right now, I'll be honest. Nowhere close to what we deserve, basically. Very good. You... Yeah, you guys can head back up north to better the army. Even though resource-wise, it's looking so... It's so bad up here. Fighters. It's got more territory we can build stuff in. Go ahead and build another military factory, actually, first. Actually, I'll have two more. That's not bad. And... Yes, that'd be good. And they're naval invading us again some more. A little bit of lag. All right, early fighters. Spider ones, yes, please. Mortars, stocks, mortar for trenches, can't shoot gas shells. Well, I think we'll be okay. At least we got our guys some uh, good old chromium if they really need it. I mean, the Germans are doing pretty darn well still. They're, they're looking not too bad. I mean, the German line, even though it doesn't look like they're doing well in attack, they're still mostly holding out. Oh, Poland's here. Oh, did they give 
Oh, they're a puppet of Germany. Pu Germany must have released them as a puppet then. Just to promise them like freedom if they win if they win the war and such. Oh, hello. Hello. What is going on down? Okay. I don't want to deal with the resistance, but you know what? Ooh, it is 1917. Can we crack the Russians? If we expand far enough into the east. Ooh, that might just be what we need. I was oh my gosh. Well, the Middle East is uh not looking good. I still want to get rid of the Serbs by the end of this episode, but I don't know if we... Oh, there they go. They got desertion again. When does that uh, go bye-bye? In, by, in May. Wow. Still got plenty of manpower. They're on a service by requirement. Of course. No equipment. Orthodox states. Okay. Okay. Wait, at least, how is our deficit looking? Not very good. None of this is looking very good. Still making. We have at least one plane that we could maybe use. Oh, another Greek division, don't mind if we do. If that's the case, I'm actually going to cut these guys, these guys down to two then. That's fine. Save a little bit of equipment, just a tad bit, because every piece of equipment matters, especially on the front, especially if we're, if we're attacking. Something's going on with the Russians. I don't know if they'll be able to do any more now in this war. Going to MP18s, Bagman MP18s. Are they done? Oh, hold on. What's going on here? Russian. Oh, their stability and weekly war support is going down. A volunteer white army. Threat of revolution. If I remember correctly, if we take enough territory. Okay, whatever. Um, and they have enough surrender progress. The Russian Empire does peace out or whatever. So. I'm not sure if that's the best bet that we, you should be doing right now, Nicholas II. Aviation Research Institute. That's probably not a good idea. Just saying. We are happy as the Russian Empire in this mod war as Russia, but... Russian Empire is Russia? Yeah, usually that's what happens when you play as Russia. You're the Russian Empire. Alright, let's push these guys back further in, even though we can't really afford too many losses. But because we can. And actually... Let's see, we have a claim on this. Emperot? Good. So good. Bismarck's piece, that's not us. That's good. We're gonna need another thing of steel. Um, we're not looking too bad, though, honestly. Not too bad. Let's grab one more steel from the Germans, because the Germans love trading us steel. There you go. Looking not too bad. More guns, more better. Papa John's? Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Keep them cornered. <clears throat> oh, what's going on here? Still can't break over this line, huh? We already had the battle we're done earlier in the campaign. I mean, it was off screen. I thought it was on screen, but whatever. Armored cars. Oh, yeah. Someone did say. Uh, I didn't get any comments yet. Use full cavalry divisions plus uh, MPs for the maximum effect. Yeah, we might as well do that now. Let's pause it. I wish it was kind of a hotkey. You could just press, like, hold C down, and then just keep clicking on this, and it automatically puts it in, in the battalions. I think that'd be kind of cool. So just, like, hold shift C, and you can put them all in if you wanted to. Why is that not in the game yet? Shift M A for motorized artillery. Shift M for motorized. Or M E for mechanized. Not bad. I think we might be able to take Montenegro if we act fast enough, actually. Eh, it's mountains. It sucks. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay, they wanted to go immediately. Okay, whatever. So we're done with this part of the tree. Alright, I guess it's time to do some airship research. Nah, fighter research. Very good. Now, we might be able to win here, hopefully. Montenegro, I've not really looked at you at all. Nicola, 91. Oh, if we can move fast enough. They don't have a lot of manpower. Obviously, it's Montenegro, what do you expect? They have Serbi Serbian Sparta. Alright. So if you guys can move fast enough, you're going to head on straight to Sen Setenja? Setenja. Sure. Why not? Alright, so we're still attacking on this line, which is not probably a really good idea. Be careful. Be careful. That's all i got to say is be careful. And attack over the river. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Warp up again and not bad. Yeah, my goal is to help all the Germans and Austrians just smack the living hell out of the Russians. 
How far are they? They're not that far, I bet. Serbia's about two-fifths of the way there. Russia's not even close. Nine percent. Ninety-four is not bad. They love invading the Bismarck Sea. Isn't that up here or something? Lower Baltic. Oh, no, Bismarck Sea is, I think, in o Oceania. I think it's Oceania, that's right. Yeah. Come on, horsey boys. I made you guys 40 combat width. Force it through. Force them through. Hey, there we go. Russian Revolution. The collapse of the Russian autocracy. Very nice. Oh, poor Nicholas. There we go. There's Petrograd, of course. Wait, where's the Russian Revolution? Come on, revolt. Revolt. Yeah, I don't think Russia can handle too much more. I mean, we can't handle much either. Oh, yeah, there they go. Russian Republic, the provisional government. Oh, things are going to fall apart very soon, probably. Surrender limit minus 40%. Oh, yes, don't mind if we do. Yes, give me your stuff. Dual power. Oh, that is not good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You got, guys, I mean, you got a lot of manpower. I get it. You don't have a... You have a bunch of planes and actually airships, surprisingly. But... Like... Oh! Evolve Georgi. Oh, Russia's falling apart. I love it. Can I get anything from this? Can I take the Ukraine? Um, excuse me, Romania. We will be determining what you get and deserve in this peace deal. Just create Moldavia just because we can. Oh, can we actually bust through here? Oh, that'd be so good. Send you guys in as well. Go, my horsey boys. I'm using you because our land doctrine allows you to be a little better. Go, go, go. We're actually not doing too bad on guns. We were like minus, what, 12, 13,000? Oh, crap. Are you serious? They threw in more guys now? Okay, hold the line then. Just don't even bother. Let them move around first. Actually, could you actually move here faster than they could? No, you couldn't. Gosh darn it. Alright, so that's a little disappointing. Let me get to that tile. That'd be good. Come on, we just gotta capitulate these guys. I'm glad we don't have to deal with the resistance for the most part here, so. That's actually really good for us. Oh, they're still attacking? Well, if they want to, it's fine with me. You guys go back up north. Make it look like we're leaving. War bonds. Yeah. Do the Russian Republic too. Just in case. Support weapons four. Good, good, good. You guys, let's go get even better operators. Um, can I convert you three to mountaineers? No, we cannot. Can't convert one of you guys to mountaineers. Yes. And the mountaineers, they're 40 combat width. They're thick boas already. Oh, field hospitals. That would not be bad. Support mortars. A little more breakthrough, a little more soft attack. Is it really worth it? Eh, maybe. It's only level one, so we'll see what happens. Hell, this mountaineer is looking really bad right now. All right, horses. I know I, I use you and I abuse you, but I do it because I love you. Now they, sh they might be able to crack through these lines. It's going to be pretty darn costly, but hey, it's fine with me. Fine with me. Looks like we might be able to do it, actually. I, at the very end of this, uh, we have to crack their lines. Crack the Russians. That's that's what I wanted, the minimum. They're still attacking even more. Nice. Hello. Uh, you're the guy that gets killed every single time we play Kaiserreich. He's got a nice haircut, though. Really nice. Sorry about your body. Um, you, you die later. At least in Kaiserreich all the time. Uh, are the French having mutinies yet? It's 1917, so... Military youth, militarism... Il ne passe not pass? I'm gonna assume that means you will not pass. Scramble for Africa... Oh, don't tell me they, they have mass desertions. Wow, that's even worse than what Serbia has. But these guys... C20... Oh, they even have... Oh, we have Epidemic, that's true. Oh, that sucks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Romania. We haven't lost that many guys. Honestly, really not that many. Um, we've killed 23,000, uh, actually, we've killed 23,000 Serbs, which isn't that much, but hey, whatever. Oh, we've almost broken through here, that's good. Excavation 2. 
Let's go with Excavation 3. Hopefully that gives us at least one more steal every single time, which is nice. Very, very good. Alright, next up. It's just a slow going, because it just basically has to. And this will actually save us a few divisions here. If we do this. Uh, if you want to go in already, that's fine with me. Whatever. This will save at least one, two areas. Eh, maybe just at least one for that. Next we're going to do is this one, because it's good for air doctrine, because we can. Still getting attacked down here. Fine with me. Whatever. The Americans have landed, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Not really too interested in what the Americans are up to right now. Any upgrades? No. Yes. Make sure he's offensive. And yes. Nicola. Max planning. That'd be good. Level 6 general. Not bad. 91. Good, 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 good. Man, that's a that's looking like a nice Poland, I'll be honest. That's not bad. I kind of wish they didn't have this because it looks kind of a little ugly. It looked maybe a little better without... And then again, this would be kind of stumpy as well. Oh, don't tell me we got more territory. Where do we have resistance? Ottoman state? Honestly, that should be core already by now. Like, we should be able to core that. But whatever. Come on, guys. You got this. Air production. Big sad. Big sad. Oh, we're making more stuff, huh? Good. Make more of that, and then make more of that. Two factories at the same time. Okay, seriously, how much more do we need to do for Russia? It's getting a bit ridiculous, not gonna lie. Let's concentrate our forces and force them up and around. Once Russia loses enough soldiers, or uh, once, yeah, basically, and the land, because there's, it looks like socialism, or should it be communism? Well, I guess it's, a, it's kind of a mix. <clears throat> Or the Bolsheviks and the Mensheviks, so. It doesn't look like it's going up or down. I wonder if the more territory they lose, the worse it gets. <clears throat> Germany seems to be doing okay. Infantry anti-tank. Nothing really there of interest. Nothing really here. Let's grab this. Finally, more soft attack would be good. Alright, so we pushed them back out. That's good. Alright, so now they're really concentrating their forces, which really sucks. If actually we can do this, I'm gonna go all the way around, have a complete access over here, get over here, crush, kill, encircle, destroy, then focus on Belgrade. That's the way we gotta do it. You know, I'm gonna just throw you. Ooh, no, don't do that. I'm just gonna throw you over here then. They've lost Minsk. And Russia has 25% stability, not bad. Not changing too much. How's Germany doing? Joint planning, huh? And Austria has what? German staff planning. German advisors. Huh. We're considering attache. More war support, more army XP. Eh, not really needed. Oh man, the French are not looking good at all. So where are their rebellions? Because it's 1970, it's August 3rd, like... Gotta give up at some point, right guys? Right? Now if we can win here... That'll be really, really great. Get more infantry attack. I know it's only it's attack and such, but it doesn't matter. We just need more attack, and we'll be leading infantry anyways, as general will be, so that's why I'm doing that like that. Uh, anything else? Industrial land appropriation? Not too much, no. I need you guys over here, too. How much are we missing? 13,000 guns? That's not good. 2,000 pieces of artillery? Not good. You know what? We could grab that, but that's only piercing. I'm going to go and grab this. Get more output. I don't care if it's ahead of time. It's not that bad. We almost got another factory, though. That's good. 88. Not bad. We haven't done forcing attack. Not yet. We will probably win here, which is good. See what happens, though. Come on, Russia. Please just give up. Please. Come on, Russia. Actually, they've broken over the river a little bit. Not bad. In Dvinsk. Strengthening the Baltic City. Well, you have 25% stability. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, don't tell me the Russians are popping out. That, those are two weak divisions right here where my mouse is. Wow. Uh-oh. 
There, I thought that would happen. The Great Socialist Revolution, Russian field of experiments. And it's pretty much GG now. The Russian Republic versus Soviet Russia under Daddy Lenin. I should play as him sometime. Hmm. Cool. That will help us out, definitely. Qatar. Qatar's gone. Wow. Hejaz, Asir. All very ugly things. Oh, yes. Alright, boys. Russian is back on the menu. Let's head on out. Full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. No peace with the Russians now. Oh, we're about to win here, too. Alright, so. Force it. Force it. Doesn't matter. Just force the attack. We're getting close. Even more lag. Can we knock out the Russians by the end of this video? Probably. Maybe. We'll see. Wow. Man, can you ever imagine, like, just time freezing in place? Just because someone wants to, like, rebel in the nation? And... Or you might want to skip ahead, like, two seconds at a time. Oh, there we go. Yeah, maybe you skipped ahead two, by two seconds. Wow, they got a lot more territory now. I'd hate to be a Russia right now. But I wouldn't mind being the Soviet R Russians. I'm just waiting to see if there's any more lag. Things might even get worse for the Russians. Now, Russia should peace out very, very soon. The white movement. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, they left the... Oh, that's why I was taking so long. They literally just left the entire Entente. Good. Cast research, why not? Um, oh, we got him, guys. We got him. We encircled him. I love cavalry special forces. Got a lot of army XP, not gonna lie. Alright, so... How are we all looking here? Kind of very bloody, very battered. More lag. Oh, are we having the peace deal now? Is it the, the Treaty of Rest Litovsk? Because this will save us a lot of guys on the front. And we can use these guys, and, and I can push them down towards the Middle East to help out the, our, our Ottoman allies. Hmm. If we win, I think I'm just going to take, like, Adrianople. Because we don't have to have Constantinople. There we go. I, I knew it. I knew it. So, Adrianople will not be bad. In exchange for helping them out, I think that would be very good. Oh, hello, Ukraine. Oh, crap. Are we actually at war with Ukraine? No, we're not. Um, all right. Okay, Romania. You're not looking too bad, but I did not give you access to that. Actually, that is my territory because I did not give you access to that yet. But whatever. Beautiful. Hopefully, they don't go to war with us. I really don't want to end up fighting them. Actually, are we going to end up fighting them? What's, what's Ukraine up to? You know what? I'm just going to have these guys remain here and hang out. We'll do fine down here. Not too worried about it. Over here, we'll, we'll do fine as well. But you know what? Maybe we'll just end the episode there. Yeah, that was actually really good. We're still fighting Russia, I think, technically. But I'm rooting for the Soviets. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will capitulate the Serbs. And continue defending as best as we can. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.